the header navbar feature in this particular video header navbar feature is basically the menu that we have on top of the website so this is something that you can do first of all let's add a new section now inside the sections you will find this header navbar so this is the menu section okay so now we have added it uh, I need to drag it to the top right so let's do that so now our menu is at the top now over here <coughs> If you will see, we have an outer section right over here, and then we have an inner section. All right. So if I talk about the outer section, if I go to the settings, so this is basically you know you can use it for adding some background and stuff over there, some some background color. Let's suppose I want to add this color to the menu. So uh, you can you can use it for uh, the background settings and some other settings, you know effects and shadow and stuff like that. Let's let's go to the inner section now. And inside the inner section, we have all the you know menu uh, settings. So basically, uh, you want to increase or decrease the font size of the menu. You can do that from here. So basically, this is if you will notice, this is menu. Then we have some menu. It's right over here. So in that case, if you want to increase and decrease the size of the sub menu, and then this is the image settings. You know the image that is over here. So you know you want to change and play with the image settings over here. So you can do that from here. Let's go back to the menu. All the other settings are right over here. Font family, font weight, all the things that you understand already, right? Uh, let's go to these settings, okay? So this is where you will be able to add content. So for example, this is home, and now in the home we have a sub menu, right? So what do you want to add in the sub menu? So the things that you want to add in the sub menu, you can add them from here. So basically, you can go ahead edit it, right? Sub menu one. Let's suppose I want to open sawabatnagar.com, okay? in this particular sub menu so i want to add this link and let's suppose i want to open it in a new window so i can do that from here right so sub menu one okay let's let's name it let's say sp all right and similarly you can change your other uh, things and let's suppose if you want to add something else over here so you can keep that you can you can add that from here similarly if you want to add a sub menu in the about section let's suppose i mean you know home about pricing so all of these you can add them from here so let's suppose i want to add a sub menu in about so you know it's it's the first thing then another let's suppose again you know sb2 let's say new window and i put the link right over here right uh if if you want to change the name of the menu elements you know about home uh pricing contact us you can do that from here right you you don't want it to be about let's say you want it to be about us just in case right so you can do that from here and uh, i mean you know these settings now right so this is sorted if you want to show the image if you don't you can disable it if you want you can enable it if you want any action to be taken on the basis of this image, for example, you know, you want this when this particular image is clicked. So you want to take it to a particular URL, let's suppose this URL and whether you want to make that thing to happen in this window or the new window, you can do that from here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, you can you can uh, go ahead, go back to the main settings over here, designing settings, and then you can play around with the uh, font. You can play around with the font weight, text color, if you want to, you know, you want to, let's say, make it white or, you know, something like this. Uh, let's say you want to change the text color of the sub menu. So, you know, let's say you want to make it something like this and you want to change the background color. Let's say something like this. Right. So maybe make it more white. I mean, I mean, you can you can play around with the things yourself, right? I want to increase the opacity, so you can you can take care of these things, right? So this is how you can play around with this, and your menu will be ready. And yeah, one more thing, and that is that this is how the menu is going to be looking in your uh, website in in the home page, uh, you know, in in the desktop. But when you look at it in the mobile, so this is how it is gonna look. So basically you might have seen this thing, right? This is called a hamburger. Uh, this is basically used for the, uh, the menu settings. So basically uh, when somebody is gonna look at your website on mobile, so this is how it is going to look. So when somebody is gonna click on it in the mobile, so then your menu is going to load over there, right? So we can, we can have a quick look in the published URL. So if you will see, we have the 
uh, you know uh, the menu the sub menu let's suppose if I click on it so it is working like it should it is opening the web page URL if I click on the image it is opening the web page URL and uh, yeah so besides that if I if I make this then I have the you know uh, the uh, hamburger menu and I have the sub menu right over here right so this is how it is supposed to be this is how it is working and you can go ahead and use the uh, menu settings inside the navbar element using the navbar element all right so yeah that's it